boys and girls, mums and dads, and welcome back to KFC, to Kids for Christ. It is so lovely to be back with you on a Friday night in your living rooms as we learn together more from the Bible. It seems like such a long time since we were together. How are you all? And here we are again. Things out there are a little bit different. For many of you, you will be doing school from home. For maybe some of you who are in school, school looks very different as well. But I hope regardless, whether you're homeschooling or whatever you're doing, that that's all going well. And here we are in a new year and we're back now for 2021 KFC. And I hope you're ready to learn so much more from the Bible. We have a really exciting journey ahead of us. Now Christmas boys and girls seems like a really long time ago doesn't it? But I wonder can you remember back to the lovely toys that you got? Shout out some of the things that you got for Christmas. Wow amazing. I'm sure you've had so much fun playing with all your toys. I'm sure you ate lots of turkey. I'm sure you even probably had lots of sweets and lots of chocolate. Hands up if you still have some left from Christmas. There's still some chocolate left in our house from Christmas. Maybe you even got to stay up late. Christmas is a wonderful family time. But boys and girls, Christmas was so much more than that. And that's what we were learning at KFC. What were we learning at Christmas time? All from the Bible. What was it? Yeah, absolutely. It was all about the birth of Jesus. Can you remember all about how we went to the Bible and we learned all about God's son who came into this world as a little baby? He was born in a manger in Bethlehem, certainly not the place that you would expect God's son to be born. And then can you remember the special visitors that came? The shepherds came, then the wise men came. This was such good news. And we learned three things. We learned, first of all, that Jesus was the son of God. We learned that Jesus is our saviour. And we learned that Jesus is our king. What an incredible story. But was that just a good story for us to read and for us to learn at Christmas time? What happened when the shepherds went back to their fields? And what happened when the wise men went back to the place that they had come from? Here we have Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus in the manger in Bethlehem. But is that where the story ends? Is that the Christmas story over? Boys and girls, absolutely not. Because Jesus came into this world as a little baby. And just like any little baby, the Lord Jesus grew bigger and bigger and bigger. And he grew up. And boys and girls, no matter what age you are listening to KFC tonight, Jesus was once your age. Jesus grew up, he had to learn, he had to be taught, he played with his friends. But there was something that was so special about Jesus that's different to you and me. You see, because Jesus was God's son, we learned that the Lord Jesus was absolutely perfect. He was such a special baby. What a great example for us boys and girls. And in the weeks that lie ahead, that's exactly what we are going to be learning about. We're going to now follow the life of Jesus. We're not just going to leave him as a little baby in the manger, but we're going to think about the Lord Jesus as he grew up and some of the amazing things that he did right until we see God's final purpose in sending Jesus right to the end of Jesus's life. Boys and girls, there's no one that we could study that is greater than Jesus. Jesus came into this world for such a special purpose and he is our greatest example. He is the one that we need to look to so that you and I can know how we are to live our lives. 
It's going to be so exciting. How amazing is it to learn from the greatest example of all? Listen to what the Bible says in the book of John chapter 8 and verse 12. This is what Jesus said. Jesus said to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life. Boys and girls, listen to that one more time. It says, I, this is Jesus speaking, and he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So what does all of that mean? Well, you see, boys and girls, because there is sin in this world, the Bible describes the world as being in darkness, without hope and separated from God. But then Jesus came as that little baby that we learned about at Christmas. And we're going to learn how he grew up and how he said that he was the light of the world. Jesus came to bring light into the darkness of our world. Now boys and girls, if I was to turn the lights off and it's completely dark, what can you see? Well, you can see nothing, sure you can't. You see, this is what our lives are a little bit like when we don't have Jesus, when we are not walking with Jesus. Our lives are dark with sin. But if we turn on the lights, and we can see again, this is what Jesus is saying. He came into this world to bring light. He came into this world so that we, this verse says, will have the light of life. Now, boys and girls, we're going to learn more about what all of that means in the weeks that lie ahead. As we look at the life of Jesus and as we see how we can live our lives to become more like him, following his example. Boys and girls, it's going to be an extraordinary journey. So I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited. Buckle up because we are going to hear one of the greatest stories of all right till Easter, till we see God's purpose in sending Jesus. Now tonight what I want to do is to teach you a new song and this is going to be a theme song for us as we go through these weeks and it's all about that verse that we've been reading about how Jesus is the light and this song is called He is the Light. So we're going to go through the words together and we're going to go through the actions together and hopefully I'm going to remember them so I can teach them to you and then this week you can be practicing this because we're going to sing it again next Friday night. So let's all jump up on our feet and learn this song together. So are you all up on your feet and ready to learn this new song? I hope you are, mums and dads included. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each line and I'm going to show you the actions and then we'll put it all together to the music at the end. Now I'm not going to sing it for you because you don't want to hear that, okay? But I'm going to tell you what the lines are and the actions and we'll see how much of this we can learn together. So the first line goes like this. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so those O's we do a few times in this song. So that's just what we do in between the first couple of lines. And then it says, Jesus is the one who lights our way. So let's do the actions together. So Jesus is the one who lights our way. All right, so we do Jesus like this because remember Jesus was put on the cross and nails put into his hands. So we do Jesus is the one who lights our way. He gives us hope for each new day. So let's try that second line together. He gives us hope for each new day. And then we sing our O's again. And then the next line is when the world feels dark and lonely, his love illuminates. So what we do for that is when the world feels dark and lonely, his love illuminates. He's the one I trust and I will follow him. So I'll do that last line again. He's the one I trust and I will follow him. 
well done you're doing really well so let's do the next verse then so the next verse says he is the light that breaks through the darkness and this bit's really easy because we just point up and we say he is the light because remember what we learned in our bible verse that jesus is the light of the world so he is the light that breaks through the darkness follow his lead and light it up light it up all right so you all got that wee bit follow his lead and light it up light it up and then the next bit is jesus will guide us through every dark time so we do jesus will guide us through every dark time. Follow his lead and light it up, light it up. So we just do that line again. So that's pretty easy too, isn't it? You did really well there too. So then what we do is we sing all of that all over again. And the actions are the exact same. But at the very last part of that where it says, follow his lead, light it up, light up the world and then when we sing the world we do a nice big circle like that okay so that's the first two verses learned now the next little bit is easy as well it says i'm going to follow jesus wherever he will lead me so what we do is where i'm going to follow jesus wherever he will lead me so let's do that one more time i'm going to follow jesus wherever he will lead me and then it says I'm going to follow Jesus. So we just point out again and then it says all the way. So we just go all the way. So let's try that wee bit again. It says, I'm going to follow Jesus wherever he will lead me. I'm going to follow Jesus all the way. And then we just do that all again. I'm going to follow Jesus wherever he will lead me. I'm going to follow Jesus all the way. And then we just go back and do the bit that we did before that says he is the light that breaks through the darkness. Follow his lead and light it up, light it up. Jesus will guide us through every dark time. Follow his lead, light it up, light it up. And at the very end, it repeats that bit, light up the world, light up the world, light up the world. So don't forget when we sing the world, we go light it up, light up the world. And we do a nice big circle three times at the end when we sing Light Up the World. So have you got it? Do you think you'll be able to remember all of that? Don't worry if you don't. Let's put it to the music and see how we get on.
Did you enjoy that new song? I hope you did and don't worry if you didn't pick up on all of it because we're going to continue to do it each week that lies ahead so by the end you will know it really really well. So I am, hope you're excited to learn more about the life of Jesus and about how he is the light of the world and so next Friday night will be our official kickstart at seven o'clock. So I'm really looking forward to seeing you all then. But first of all, let me tell you about a few little changes. Normally boys and girls are what was originally planned was for us this week to have our drive through. We all enjoy the drive through where we come and we get our buckets full of all the resources that we need for the weeks that lie ahead. However, just because of the current government guidelines, the lockdown restrictions and the no unnecessary journeys, we've decided that it's not good and it's not wise for us to have a drive through in the coming weeks. So unfortunately, we're going to have no drive through this week and there's going to be no buckets going out at the minute. However, when the restrictions lift a little bit, we will keep you posted and we will definitely have another drive through. But in the meantime, all of the resources on your activity sheets, I'm still going to do them and post them online for you. So normally I would have printed them out to give you them in your bucket, but they instead will be online so that you can download them, you can print them out, you can look at them on your tablets or your iPads or your computers. So you will still be able to get those. And each week as I send out an email, the link for those will be attached to the email. So you'll be able to go straight to those so that you can still do your family activities together. Things will be a little bit different, but that's okay. I'm gonna set you challenges each week, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. And there's gonna be a few more surprises along the way. So I hope you're excited. Don't worry that you're not getting a bucket just yet. We will get them down the line, but for now, you can get everything that you're going to need for the next few weeks online. If you don't get the kids email, please let me know. Send an email to the address that's on screen, rachelhaffey at mazepc.org, and I will be able to get you added to that list so that you don't miss out on anything that is going out. So the final thing I want to do tonight, boys and girls, is tell you the challenge that I have for you this week. Just a short time ago, we were reading from the verse in the book of John chapter 8 and verse 12. So what I want you to do this week is to go and get your Bibles. I want you to look up John chapter 8 and verse 12. Let me help you a little bit. So the book of John, is it in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Well done, it's in the New Testament. And can we, maybe we could go through the first four books of the Bible together, could we? So first of all, we have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Okay, so the first four books of the New Testament, the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So we're going to John, and then you need to find chapter eight, which don't forget is the big numbers on the page. And then the small number on the page is verse 12. So that's the verse that we read out. And I want you to write out that verse and I want you to make it into a lovely, colourful poster that you can put up on your wall to remind you of that key verse that we're going to be thinking about right throughout KFC. So I want you to write out that verse in a lovely poster. You could do some nice fancy drawings or bubble writing and lots of colour. I would love for you to send me a picture of your posters up on your walls and then we will be able to show everybody them next week. So that's your challenge for this week to look up your Bible, find John chapter 8 and verse 12 and make me a lovely poster of those words that Jesus said. Boys and girls, it's so lovely to be back with you and get started with you and your family. I hope you're excited as we journey with Jesus right till Easter time. And right now, all that's left for me to say is cheerio, and I will see you again next Friday night at seven o'clock. If anyone has any questions in the meantime, please just let me know and I will help you out in any way I can. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you then. Bye.